Hello everyone. Uh, I'm doing this video just because one of our subscriber asked that he want a detailed explanation on the MQTT QAS. Already made a video on the MQTT QAS. I have given the uh, link in the description. If anyone want to go through what MQTT is all about, you can refer to that particular video. So in today's video, we're just going to see about MQTT QAS. The full abbreviation of QAS is like you no know, quality of service. This is to ensure the message delivered between publisher and subscriber. So basically, this defines how qualityly my message has been sent from the publisher to the subscriber. So basically, there are three levels: QAS 0, 1, and 2. Being a publisher, I can define at what uh, what should be the QAS of my message. So in this whole video, we will be seeing about the QAS along with a real life example so that you can remember this quickly uh, after period of time as well. So the first thing we are going to see about QA0, in QA0 it is all about at most once. So basically fire and forget. I send a message to the broker and I don't care about whether the message is received or not. And that is it. Like you know, Once I send the message, I forget what I have actually sent. For an example, uh, during the early stages, like you know, 70s and 80s, the postcards, you know, would be the famous thing for writing letters to people living in different part of the country. Say, for example, I am from India, writing a letter to one of my friend in US. So, I put a postcard, that's it. Uh, during those period, people won't be in a position to track whether the message has been received or not. I sent the message and I forgot it. So, this is what we call it as QIS0, fire and forget. In the second one, at least once so basically this is called as single handshake method but this will have like lot of duplicates basically the client will send one message to the broker and the broker will acknowledge back telling that i have received the message if the client hasn't received the message the broker uh, the, if the broker hasn't received the message the client keeps sending the message over and over again so which means there is a lot chance of having duplicate message sent across so, for example, uh, let's come to the postal, uh, same postal thing after some period of time, maybe during 90s, where like no people started tracking the postal cards. And uh, if at all the particular broker has it received the message, the message, uh, the courier guy will say, give you back the letter to you, or he makes multiple attempts to make sure that the delivery is properly done. It's because, you know, uh, the end client will be tracking the letters. QAS2 is like a very solid and robust way of message transfer uh, method. It's like exactly one time the message will be sent to the particular uh, broker. So it's a double handshake method. So the message actually starts from the client to the broker. Once the broker receives the message, this will be sending an acknowledgement telling that I have received the message. And to acknowledge that, the client will reinitiate one more thing. And finally, the broker will tell, okay, I have actually received the uh, message so that you can stop it and don't send this particular message again. So it's like a trusted courier service where I just send the message and they make sure exactly uh, once it will be like shipped to the particular time. We can keep it like an Amazon. I ordered a material and the material reaches to me only once. Like, no, there, there is no chance of duplicating or multiple uh, times I'll be receiving the items. Thanks for watching this video. I hope like no you would have enjoyed it. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment on this video. Have a great day.